they did move all that plywood and everything up against the house and put put the stuff that has never been unstrapped on top of everything. So that should be good. You can see we got some killers. Some big boys. low tide. No, it's not low tide. It's a little before low tide. Alright, this is a storm is what we're supposed to get. It's uh, 11.15, I'm headed to the Mumbles man's house. We're going to hunt the land of Nada at high tide, which is something we never do. But there's a reason for that. And I hope to be able to show you the reason, but that's not a guarantee. Anyway, we're going on down there. We've got a, a detecting guy in town that I, I never knew, I only heard of him long ago. Uh, he's, he's younger than me. His name is uh, Len Dancos. He's been detecting a long time. He's from, I think he said he's from Daytona. He's in the land of Nada right now. He got down yesterday, stopped by to say hello and meet me, and we had a little conversation about this and that. And he hunted last night, and dry sand and found you know a bunch of crap up that way and he's down again today this morning he hadn't said he hadn't found anything in Nauta to speak of today but I maybe we'll run into him I'm not sure I got a feeling we're going to stop short in the button patch first and look around there and see if the any buttons have showed up if they cut the beach back any I don't really think it has but you can't tell till you go down there anyway I'll see you in about uh 20 minutes. This guy, uh, Dan calls, if you, I don't know if y'all, any of y'all know him or not, but he's, uh, he's found some really cool stuff in this town. I don't know if he's here storm hunting, you know, chasing the storm hunting, or if he's going to hang around a while. I guess I'll find out more today. He might be staying at KOE. I don't know. He was in driving a van by himself. I don't know where he's what his plans are, you know. But you'll get to see him, I hope, this afternoon. Or just sometime today. I'll get back to you. Like I said, we're going to try, this is 48th Street. We're going to try 48th Street and hunt north and see if there's any buttons showed up. I see that ocean is angry. Big ass waves and lots of wind.
one of them pieces of copper like we always find here. I don't know what it is, but we find a lot of them. Triangles, we call them. Mumbles man says he got a button. Well, I think this might be a bail seal thing. I got one of them too. Just about the same size, exact same thing. Yeah, I got the same exact same same thing. Is that it? That's no, a that's a quarter. There's there some, there some there targets there. Oh yeah, that's a button for sure. Nice one too. Can't see nothing on it. I couldn't. Really Looks like tell. it's flat right this minute. I mean, you know, nothing it's on it. Got the button. Yeah, yeah but that's that's what we're looking for. Loop thing or whatever. Yeah. All right. Some coin. We're back at 26th Street now. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Grapes. Mmm. Good taquitos. I'm surprised the homeless people ain't got them all. Look out. Grapes everywhere. A snack before the beach. Twenty-six Street. Twenty-six Street. Looks ju just like where we left from. No cuts yet. Angry ocean. Very angry, but not as angry as it's going to be. patch that was a ball spot we were on this is the only good thing about this spot is that today and then the 47th street down we found a parking spot on 47th stand by Kid, water 
dog. something but I hope that ain't it but it probably is it piece of copper oops far enough. piece of copper, a little teeny piece. Three kite surfers just came in. There's one right there, there's a green one right there, and a sort of a bluish one right there. Yesterday afternoon in front of my house, I bet there were 10, maybe 12, they were everywhere. Them guys are tough, tough going for them guys. But that's what they live for days like today, all this wind. They can fly out of the air. With this camera right there, you can see them. But they have a good time. If I was 40 years younger, I know I'd have one. That's right up my kind of work I like. <laughs> Pretty in. Well maintained. Got little seats up here. Gazebo doodad. I like it.
Get in my back up a little bit. Okay. Drop Danny off. I got a phone call. And I said, listen, I got some axes I need sharpen in case the trees blow down. I said, all right, I'll be home in a half hour, so bring them on by. He just got here. He's got a big axe and a little smaller axe and then a hatchet. Pretty good shape for some of the stuff I see. Okay, so I got a little action too. Len did find a ring today. He got full of ice, but it's kind of getting rough looking there. Gold is falling off of it. Plated maybe or bling or something. But it looks cool. Yeah. Bigger Jack, what are you doing, Bigger Jack? What I like about that is I've been out there for quite a time to wear the gold off the sides of it there. Yeah, it has. Tossing around that sand. Yeah. I did find a bullet, 50 caliber bullet. Yeah. We, find a, we used to find a ton of them damn things. Yeah. <laughs>